everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums, and I am showing you my Country Craft Creations Design Team Haul. I picked up this fabulous paper collection called Fairy Garden. It's brand new. It's from Echo Park. I have been doing Halloween, fall, and some Christmas projects, and a lot of those papers are very toned down, and I saw this on the website and just thought, I'm in the mood for something bright. So you obviously can see the theme of it. It's going to be cute little fairies with rainbows and flowers and birds and frogs. Um, and I'm just going to make something fun. I thought this could be a good project for uh, if you want to give someone something for Christmas or just an ongoing project. So anyhow, this is the sticker sheet. You're going to see that I'm showing you individual sheets as opposed to the collection. The collection is available on Country Craft Creations, but you might want to pick up some individual sheets as well. Um, I will be doing a main project and then I have something in mind for the second project. So anyhow, really cute, just adorable, um, fun, diverse fairies, and they're doing different things and they're just gorgeous. It's just a fun collection. So this is sort of fairy houses. I like that. I think uh, it's pretty. The colors are, are pretty too. Sort of has like a Williamsburg blue and then a really bright pop of a dark pink and a light pink and a very pretty uh, sort of a Hauser green. I don't know what color green you would call that. Moss green maybe. Um, very pretty colors. There's the back of that and I just love that. I wish I picked up more of this one pattern just because I think that's enticing. I don't know why. This one is called uh, Fairy Tale Friends. And you can see we've got the frog, the bird, the butterflies, some toadstools, ladybug, and snails and worms, which are just adorable. I guess they'd be sort of the, the friends that the fairies would, would chat with. And the backside is this pretty uh, green check. I have these probably all turned upside down, but that's okay. So this is four by four cut aparts. The backside is stripes. I will be using those in my um, second project, a couple in my first project as well. I love using these for the cover of my projects. I love using the cut aparts, but I've got other, other things in mind this time. This one is called toadstools what's the full name of it it's called blooming toadstools and obviously here's the back side of that don't you love them beautiful this is wondrous butterflies which if you're going to have fairies you have to have butterflies and then the back side is a tone on tone yellow polka dot paper uh, fantastical fairies so here they are. Um, there's movement to the paper because of the swirls. There's dots and flowers in the background as well. And they're doing all sorts of things. Flying, running, um, just being cute little fairies. I can't wait to do my second project. But I'll always do the bigger one first so I see what scraps I have left. The B side of that has this tone on tone with the butterflies. This is the flower paper. This is called Enchanted Florals. I love these whimsical flowers. They're just so fun and pretty. And the back side is more tone on tone flowers. I love that pink. That is really my favorite color. I guess it was so good I got two of three of those. Um, here we are with the Garden Rainbows. Now this is going to be featured prominently predominantly actually in the a second project. So the background is some blue with some stars, white stars, and all different rainbows with flowers on them. I just think the image of that is beautiful. Uh, journaling cards, here's the back side and here's the front. So these are different sizes. You have two by two, four by six in the landscape, four by six in the portrait. So these, um, these I'll be using, but I also like this paper. This might be one of the back covers. I am not sure. I just saw that. I saw this paper and I just thought, 
wouldn't you love to have a garden that is filled with flowers like that? Just a carpet of different colors that commingle and just get along and they're just beautiful. This is called Magical Blooms Paper and the B side is green tone on tone again. More journaling cards with more flowers in the background. This one has border strip of fairies and border strip of rainbows. A couple of four by four cut aparts. Um, this is nice for a little journaling card. So these are pretty. And this is more three by four journaling cards. If I had realized how gorgeous this was, I would have picked up a couple more of this one because the plaid is gorgeous. On the back of that, or actually this is the front, that's the back, there are three by four uh, journaling cards. And then I picked up some coordinating cardstock. And, and with the Echo Park, you're going to get two colors, one on each side. So this is the pink and the blue. It's light pink and the blue. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, get the coordinating cardstock. It just will save you from headaches, from going in your stash, trying to match things because this matches perfectly. This one I picked up a couple of, dark pink and yellow. These are great for photo mats, for when you have so much paper with a lot of different patterns, it gives the eye a chance to rest on a page if you include some blank areas and if it coordinates, it makes it even better. Um, of course, you'll put photos on there, but it, photos always look nice when they're matted. And this is the light blue and the green paper. We had the dark blue and the green. Here's the light blue and green. So I picked up three of those. Something else I haven't used before, um, but we'll use in my second project. This is the Artisan Cardstock 100 pound weight. It's the 12 by 12 Artisan Linen Cardstock. Um, it's a nice weight. It's not too stiff. I didn't want chipboard for my second project, so I picked up two sheets of that. I also picked up some I want to get out this so you can see how it matches some of the um, seam binding. Let me see if I can tell you the exact colors. This is coral, this is goldenrod, and that is medium blue. It's beautiful, isn't it? That matches perfectly. I'm so excited about that. Now, I also picked up a couple of little packages of ephemera. Let me put it out and show you. Okay, this one on the pink is all of the things that you get with the frames and tags. There's 34 pieces. Um, here I took apart the frame. What? Oh, this came in there. So uh, lots of cute little things. Let me see if I can raise it and show you some of them close up. Again, just stop the video if you want to take a, a second to read all these things or look at it close and see which would work for you. Now, the other one I got was the ephemera, which actually does have some frames, uh, no tags in it, but it does have frames. And that is this one on the yellow sheet. And just some cute things. They're a little bit different, so it depends on what you're going for. Look at each one individually and uh, decide. And then finally, I did pick up some enamel dots. This was from a different collection. It's Oh Happy Day from Simple Stories. Um, the orange won't match, but the other colors will go okay uh, with it. There also was Doodlebug Rhinestones. So if um, you want something to match, check that out in Country Craft Creations. So that is what I have to show you. All of these different... Um, I'm looking for my stickers to put that on top, but is it here? yes. All of what I received for my design team package for Country Craft Creation for November 2023. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications so you know when I finish this project. It is the beginning of November. Actually, it's Halloween when I'm recording this but uh, it will be done fairly soon. So thanks so much for watching and have a fabulous day.